Hello everyone, my name is Travis Grady, and today I will be showing you the Maze Challenge on DaVinci Craft. Now, DaVinci Craft is our server, where all the magic happens when it comes to the Minecraft League. The challenge we're going to be going over today is the Maze Challenge, which is very similar to many of the challenges we do in our Minecraft League. This is the Maze Hub. It's where all of our teams and all of you guys will be going through to complete the, the various mazes. They're all the same, they're just made, we just make sure that there are enough mazes for an, enough people to play at the same time. We don't want you guys have to have to wait 15 minutes just to get to go through once. Now, on to the maze. This is the lobby. It's also the place where the first where the bottom runner goes in. Now, see these signs? Wait here. Please wait. Here's the thing. If you guys wait, the reason that we have you guys wait here is because it makes it so we can all, we can know that all four people are in the same room or however many people you have in your group and that we don't have to drag someone from all the way on bottom and drag them back down over to this lobby. So please stay in the room and don't move out of it until we give you the okay. So now I will explain each le level in detail. First, right down here, you will see lower viewing deck. This is the level of the bottom observer. Now, what the bottom observer does is he looks up and he tries to guide the player who's running in the bottom maze to get to the finish. Obviously, I'm not going to show all the details because that will be giving you the answers and that would make the challenge very unfun. But this is the finish. That is the starting point. There's a gigantic maze to get through. Get through the maze. That's the goal. However, again, you will have help from your observer to help you get through the entire maze. So then next, we have where the bottom maze runner is. He's the person who doesn't have to run very long. He just gotta go in here and start running. You have two paths to go through, and I'm not gonna tell you which one's better because that would kind of be, well, it would spoil the fun. I'll let you guys get lost. All right, next we're going to go up here, and this will take us to the top maze. Now, the top maze, well, I wouldn't say it's harder, because honestly, the bottom maze is, the one, is one that's harder at, in terms of dead ends, but it takes less time. This one's easier when it comes to dead ends, but there's a lot of loops that will keep them, make you go in circles. So it's fairly easy to get lost in both of them, but this one more so. So I would watch out for that. I've gotten lost in this, just building it. But luckily you're gonna have some help to help you, to help you not get lost. The top observer helps the person on the top maze get through. And of course, I'm not going to show you this because that would be giving you the answers. That wouldn't make it very fun. Now, once the observer, once the maze runners are done, you guys will see this right here. Yay, you completed the maze. Okay, now what should I do? Pressure plate. A pressure plate is something that that activates a red uh, that creates a redstone signal from the block that you're sitting on, that you that is on. Under this is a command block which will teleport you. So once I walk onto this, teleportation. And take a look. This is the winner circle. This is where any person who's completed the maze will end up. So you finish, your two maze runners have gone through, and you're going like, yeah, we finished. If you go to one of us with that, we're going to tell you, no, you're not done. Because, guess what? Your observers now have to run the mazes without any help. So everyone gets to run the maze. Just some people get a little bit more help than others. So then, so imagine my maze runner just finished. So then I've got to race down. And by the way, the reason I'm going so fast is if you double-click, you click the W key 
or the up key, depending on which one you have it, as you will sprint. Don't sprint in circles. There's no point. And then I go down here and I start running the maze. If I was actually going to do that. Because then that would also, again, give the answers away. Once all four of your members are in the winner circle, then you have completed the maze, let one of us know, and we will come right over and record your time. Now, let's talk about the benefits while we're in the awesome winner circle. The benefits of this challenge are that it's very team-based. You have to communicate with your team, otherwise you're not going to get very far. We've had teams in our league who have didn't talk at all. We didn't hear a single peep from them. Guess who? Which, guess which teams didn't do so well? They usually did almost about 30% worse than the other people. Now, also, it promotes team building because it promotes collaboration. Again, if you don't talk, you're not going to win. Either through chat or right in person, you're not going to win unless you are really focusing on talking, especially between the observers. Because if your observer's not telling you where to go, you're probably going to get lost. And the maze runners and the observers need to be communicating with you to help you. The best, the best teams have been the ones who have the best communicators. It's just kind of how these challenges work. So, as we go back, and once you're done, and once all four of your members and I'm, and are done, then you can go back to DV Hub, and we're back in the beautiful DV, and this is it during the day. It doesn't look that different, but just thought I'd show you. All right, so, thanks all of you for watching, and I hope you have a great time in the maze, and I also hope you don't get lost. Thanks.